What is going on, Bulls Nations? The buyout candidates are slowly being taken. So another guy uh, that's still on the board is Forkin Corkmas. So is he a good fit? We're going to talk about it right after this. This is your home for all things Chicago Bulls. Join the conversation. You're listening to Chicago Bulls Nation. Okay, so supposedly Danilo Gallinari has already committed to the Milwaukee Bucks. So I know he's another target for the Bulls. I, I wouldn't... There's no buyout candidates here that I would be like, man, we need that guy. I, I don't know why, because is it the talent pool or we just... There's no one unless... You know, Anthony Edwards is on the buyout pool. Then we're going to be like, all right, we need that guy. You know, this really, it doesn't matter who is in there. I don't think, they, they, could they help the Bulls? Sure. I don't know how much though. What, an extra win? Maybe. Uh, but I'm just going here by what the Bulls need. So Danilo Gallinari is a tall guy who can shoot. Well, he used to be that he could shoot. I don't know about now. But another guy that's interesting for me is uh, Forkin Korkmaz which he is a bulls killer every time that we played philadelphia for some reason he turns into uh kevin durant and he's gonna drop 25 against the bulls he's gonna shoot lights out so one thing that you could do is get a guy like that so he doesn't torch you anymore uh is he a good fit for the bulls he, well he has size i would say that he's six six so sure he's a wing uh that could shoot really really well uh could he shoot well for the bulls who is he gonna you know replace or play in you know behind to you know is he gonna be a small forward uh, i would say so if he comes in maybe he'll replace demar de rosen maybe run with a second unit or play with demar de rosen you know because th these are the type of guys that you need like in, in the nba now you need multiple guys that could shoot so you can spread the floor so therefore the mark can operate you know freely in the perimeter you know in that mid-range area or you can pair him up next to vooch so if vooch gets double team he can kick the ball out swing the ball and maybe he ends up with cork mass i'm sure he wants more um role than being a stand-up shooter because he's He's one of those guys who wanted a trade for a long time now. I think he has a standing with two years of trade request from the Sixers that finally it happened. And it happened to the Pacers, and I believe they bought him out quickly. So he's another guy that if I can't get Gary Harris or Marcus Morris, which they said he's going to sign with, uh, with the Timberwolves, which he hasn't. So there's still hope there. But even with Marcus Morris, I'm not going to lie. I'm, it's not like, man, we got to get Marcus Morris. It's just the preferred because he's power forward. We don't know when Patrick Williams is coming up. But with him, he's another shooter that perhaps can help the Bulls. So sure, I'll be interested in him because if he gets taken out, let's say, you know, let's say Gary Harris, uh, you know, ends up with a different team. Let's say Dallas and Marcus Morris does indeed sign with the Timberwolves. I think it's the third best logical buyout candidate for the Chicago Bulls because of the need. I mean, everybody in the NBA needs a shooter, but definitely the Bulls outside of Kobe White and I would assume was playing, you know, out of his mind lately. But I said it before, we still need a uh, like a just a shooter because the Bulls never really had that. You know, kind of like a Steve Kerr type of a shooter that is out there and you know Thaddeus Young is another player that I wish we could have you know it would have been nice he's a power forward he played for the Bulls well respected but he went to the Phoenix Suns and I can't even blame him the Bulls is just not a sexy destination right now you know if you're a buyout candidate you want to chase those rings you know and and the Bulls can't give you that I don't even, I'm not even sure if the Bulls can give you playing time. So, you know, those are the things after, you know, let's say af if, if Korkmaz doesn't sign with the Bulls, the next one would be maybe Killian Hayes. I just don't see Killian Hayes. You know, he's the one with the best upside here. But how is he going to play? You know, we got Io and Kobe running the guard and you can, you know, 
get them in and out with Caruso and and Javon Carter. So I just don't. After that, you got Victor Oladipo. You know, it's nothing there. James Bonite again, nothing. Corey Joseph. So Evan Fournier. I am assuming he hasn't been officially bought out yet. And David Bertrand's Bertrand. So we'll see how they fit, but. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Again, there's no one here in this buyout candidate pool that just stands out to me. But if you make me choose, those are the top three for now. Uh, and then if they get taken, you know, we'll take a look at maybe Fournier and Bertans. But who do you think the Bulls should go after in this buyout season? Let me know in the comments down below. And once again, if you are a Bulls fan, I would appreciate a sub. I've been trying to hit that thousand mark for a while now. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.